you're going to need some things. You are. You're going to need um, mint and coriander. Da, da, da. You're going to need some jars to put it in. You're going to need red wine vinegar, garlic, celery, red peppers, scotch bonnets, knife, uh, scissors. Yeah, that's what they are. A handheld blender and a receptacle to put these things in. Look. Ooh. Put some garlic and some of the peppers into the receptacle, like that. Add some chopped up celery. Add some coriander. Add some mint. Oh, I didn't say wash the herbs, but I'm guessing you're washing the herbs because you know just give them a bit of a rinse and then dry them off a chopped up scotch bonnet I've gone for one which is kind of low strength for me but do it entirely to your own taste um, but yeah you can do rocket chilies Thai chilies jalapenos but yeah do it to your own liking Then you add red wine vinegar. I didn't mean to go for organic, but that's all I could find. I know, life's a struggle. Ordinary red wine vinegar is fine. Vinegar acts as a preservative for um, this. So yeah, put in a lot. Trust your judgment. I've never measured it, but yeah, I'm gonna trust you to measure it out for your own taste and liking. Time for the handheld blender. Blend it. You get the idea, right? Then, you know, it's like this after a little while, yeah. Then you get a spoon. You spoon all that goodness into a jar. And then you have a jar of Tasty Ajika, which you can add to yogurt or vegan yogurt. And you've got a marinade. You can add it to tortilla soup for that kind of like that unmistakable taste that you can't quite put your finger on. It's a really nice chilli sauce, so try it. It's also accidentally vegan. So yeah, there you go. Ajika. <laughs>